Weeks now, we've heard that help is on the way in the fight against COVID-19. And today, that help arrived. Today, I can tell you that help is here. Now, Oregon received its very first shipments of COVID-19 vaccines this morning. They went to two locations at Legacy Health, but we know other hospitals in our area will be getting them within hours, uh, perhaps by tomorrow, including OHSU and Kaiser Permanente's Airport Way Center in Portland. And we have live, complete team coverage for you here on Fox 12. We're breaking down who will get those vaccines and when. And that includes the timeline for people who live in Washington. But let's begin tonight with Fox 12's Brenna Kelly. Yeah, she joins us now live in Northeast Portland tonight with a look at how this distribution process exactly works here in Oregon. Brenna. Well, around 2,000 of Pfizer's vaccine doses were delivered to Legacy Health this morning. Half of those were distributed here to the Holiday Park location. It's the first of many delivered here to Oregon. It's the day many of us have been waiting for. The first approved COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer is in Oregon. Governor Kate Brown released a video message today. But starting this week and each week following, as vaccines become more widely available, we will begin gaining ground in our fight against this disease. The state is receiving 35,100 doses as part of Pfizer's first allocation. Legacy's Meridian Park site in Tualatin received the first batch around 640 this morning. The second arrived at the Holiday Park location in Portland just after 7 a.m. Both deliveries contained one package of 975 doses, the minimum order size from Pfizer. Because of this, Pfizer's shipments will target larger hospitals at first. Tomorrow, OHSU, Kaiser Permanente's Airport Way Center in Portland, and St. Alphonsus Medical Center in Ontario will each receive 975 doses as well. The CDC asked Oregon to choose the initial sites as a way to test the system providers are using to order the vaccine. Throughout the process, we will work very hard to ensure that the Oregonians that have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19, including those from Black, Indigenous, Latino, Latina, Latinx, Pacific Islander, and tribal communities have equitable access to these vaccinations. Another 20,000 doses from this week's allocation will arrive at other hospitals across the state this week, and the remaining nearly 11,000 will go to skilled nursing facilities with vaccinations starting next week. In total, health officials expect there will be enough to vaccinate 100,000 people with the first of two doses. The second dose should follow in January. And most hospitals and health systems that did register as vaccine provider sites are expected to receive Pfizer's vaccine in the next two weeks. An OHA spokesperson tells me the first person they're expecting to be vaccinated on Wednesday. They're just not quite sure where or when that'll happen. Reporting live in Northeast Portland tonight, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon. We're also following developments today in Washington, where they too received the first round of the Pfizer vaccine. Let's get to our Fox 12's John Hendricks, who joins us now live in Vancouver with the latest on how the state is doing. John? Well, Pete and Bonnie, hospitals like Legacy, Salmon Creek um, are preparing to get doses of the vaccine. They tell us that they won't be included in this first batch. We do know that Clark County is expected to get 3,900 doses in this first shipment. That will go to frontline workers at Peace Health. The day is finally here, a sigh of relief in what has been a tough few months. The first shipment of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine arrived today in Seattle. It's a little bit surreal, to be honest. In Vancouver, Clark County is expecting some 3,900 doses of the vaccine. It should arrive today or tomorrow. The state is not saying specifically where it is headed, but the folks at Legacy Salmon Creek say they won't be getting any of the first shipment. We're kind of in a wait and see mode right now in terms of when we'll be able to be getting some of the Washington doses. However, they are getting ready. They are getting dry ice and an ultra cold freezer. A lot of logistical challenges to, to be met, but I think we're all really excited for that challenge. 
At Peace Health Southwest, they are expected to get the vaccine in the first shipment because they do have an ultra cold storage. In this first round of 62,000 doses, the vaccine will be distributed to 17 sites across 13 counties. This phase will include high risk workers in health care, high risk first responders and patients and staff at long term care facilities. And that comes down to, you know, risk. So protecting the most vulnerable um, as well as preserving health care capacity. Clark County Health Department says today is exciting, but there is still a lot of work ahead. And the fact that we've had we've gotten uh, an incredibly effective vaccine so quickly is is great news um, and probably the best news that we've had since the start of the pandemic. Now, Washington is expected to get 220,000 doses of that Pfizer vaccine. That's supposed to come in all by the end of December. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.